we discussed about the Google Colab and how to mount your Google Drive. And also we looked at various different options in Colab. In this video, I'm going to talk about linear regression. But before that, let me just walk you through a machine learning coding parameters and what is machine learning as at a very high level. So machine learning algorithm, you know, just an introduction, it's a type of artificial intelligence which provides an ability to learn without explicit programming and obviously data is the fuel data is the main driver behind machine learning you do not need a data lake but then as and when new data is getting exposed the computer model is able to learn by itself and we will talk about it in a few minutes this is machine learning basics now for example if you look at it, this data set, you have 80 square feet, number of bedrooms furnished or not, and the price. Now, what I want to do is create a machine learning algorithm which looks at this data and based on the first three, we call it as inputs or features, it should be able to predict price. So, looking at the input, those are three columns area and square feet, number of bedrooms and furnished, it should be able to predict the price of that house. So what it means is, this is an observation, that means the price is an observation or a target. And these are some words, some, <clears throat> some uh, definitions which we're going to cover in the few videos to come. And then the difference, what you see in machine learning perspective, is you provide input and provide an observation so my input is these three an observation is the price target and machine learning model is automatically create going to be able to create a model which is going to be an equation that means if you put area number of bedrooms and furnished or not it's going to predict the price so some things which Machine learning can help you to do is predict the price of 1500 square feet home and predict the price of 1800 non furnished home. And it's going to predict based on the data. Obviously, it needs a lot more data, but this is just the basics. So, what you will do, you will provide input, observations, and then machine learning is automatically going to create a model. So, that is where we talk about supervised and unsupervised learning. Supervised learning means you have a target and observation defined. So in the last slide, we talk, talked about the target, the price being an observation. While in unsupervised, you do not have a target. You want to do a pattern detection in your data set. So we are not going to talk about unsupervised for now, but I'm going to talk about supervised. So in supervised, again, it's, it's at a very broad level classified as classification or numeral, numeric predictions. So if your target, which is your observation, is a numeric, then you have numeric predictions and some of the machine learning algorithm, not all, but some of the machine learning algorithms which you can use is linear regression, regression trees, neural networks and support vectors. And for classification, you can use nearest neighbor, naive base, decision trees and support vectors, neural networks again. Classification is most discrete set of val values, like for example, if you want to classify a customer as gold, bronze, or silver, or grade one, two, or three, these are classifications. Now, I'm going to show you a flow chart which describes how machine learning model works. So you start and then get data. So somehow you need to get data. If you remember in the past, last video, we got the data from a CSV file which was on the Google Drive and we mounted the Google Drive itself. After the data is received, you split the data. So splitting the data is going to be on train and test. So just for the discussion's sake, we'll say 80% train data, 20% test data. It's not mandatory. You can have 70% test data or 30%, sorry, 70 trains, 30 test, or 90 train, 10 test, doesn't matter. So we're going to split the data. Train means we're going to use that data set. Let's, let's say in your original data set, you have 100 records. 
out of that 80 records i'm going to use to train the data or train the model and 20 percent i'm going to use to test the model once it's created now you use the train data and first see has target or does your data has observation do you want an observation do you want to predict something which is your target if it is no then it's unsupervised model we're not going to talk about unsupervised model as yet now if you have a target that means you have an observation and you want to predict that target is it continuous or discrete that means is it numeric continuous is numeric and discrete is classification now if it is classification or regression so if it's numeric then you would do regression and if it's classification then it will do the the discrete variables now once you create those models so classification and regression are type of models as we saw in the last slide which is supervised model slide and then you create a trained model i will show you in python in google collab how you do this step once the model is trained then you would test the model so testing the model is important as well using for testing of this model then you would use the test data and then you would like to evaluate your model so again if it is continuous sorry if, if, if it is discrete that means it's a defined set of values then you would use confusion matrix and then if it's regression that means continuous that means it can have any number of value the target can be any number that is going to be rmse which is root mean square error there are multiple types and evaluation parameters but this is just for the sake of discussion and finally you're going to end there are a lot more to it but this is at a very high level very simplified approach of training a model and then testing the model so getting data train model and test model i repeat one more time continuous variables are or continuous columns are those columns which are numeric in nature and it can take any value so for example price of the house it can take any value let's say 400000 300000 300000 50 or 300,000.507, you know, it can take any values. When you say discrete, it's a classification of customer. So don't get confused It's in it. It's very, very simple. Okay, let's take a look at the Google Colab. Last time, we, we used this import panda and the import statement. Please look at the previous video. Now print, this is just how to print. And then this is how to mount a Google Colab drive. And if your session is expired you need to redo it so if i click on this link on this link is going to get you to an authorization area which is in order to authorize i just copied the authorization code and pasted it and it will say that the google drive link was mounted so you see here the google drive link is mounted now please note that that if you are just on the files area you would not see the google drive g drive mounted you would need to click on this up arrow button and then you would see the g drive mounted i talked about this in the last video and then you would read the file which is the reg give me so i will read this file and df is data frame i think i mentioned in the last video a data frame is a representation of data in a tabular format that means the rows and the column format in this data set i have just area one input one feature which drives the target or the observation remember what we discussed in a few uh, in, a, in a few minutes ago and then let's define x and y variables so x i am defining as area and y i am defining as price so x data frame the column name area and y data frame the column name price and i click on it and 
it says defining x and y variable done next you can print it as well for your test but i don't want to print it now it's going to be just area and price separate columns then i'm going to use the plot the matplotlib plt remember in the import statement on the top i have matplotlib.pyplot so this is a library which i referred it as plt so i'm going to use the plot just to plot and see how the data looks like so i had to change x and y over here so you look at it so this is a very very simple problem and this is just to demonstrate how the linear regression works if you look at it it's a very straight line it's a very very simple and this you not you will not get in the real time uh, scenario but this is a very simple straight line and we have to learn based on these values very very linearly so with the increase in area the price increases so x is the area and y is the price so what we are going to do next is we are going to split the data remember the the flow chart split the data so we will split the data and then train the data in the next video